Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a video. I, I think it's been a week since I've uploaded again. Don't blame me, alright? I just haven't been bothered. <laughs> but we're jumping back in 2K22. Yes, we're going to be doing another rebuild challenge. As you can tell by the title, we're trying to make a team go 82 and 0. We're going to start with a fancy draft. Everything stays the same and then try and get as close to 82 and 0 as possible. I would like to complete it this time. I haven't done a rebuild in like a month, so hopefully we can do it. If you are currently watching this video, I appreciate you. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded. I, I just haven't been bothered. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to try to get back on it. Not sure for how long, but I'm going to try. Alrighty, so we need to pick ourselves a team. So, we're going to spin this wheel. What do we get? Would be nice if we get someone decent, but uh, at the same time, it's a fancy draft, so it doesn't really matter. We end up with the Warriors. I would have liked the Warriors in real life, but you know what? A fantasy draft wouldn't be too bad with the Warriors, although we don't have a lot of first-round picks. Could we at least, like, get a pretty decent pick? I mean, it's pretty decent. We got the ninth. Uh, we got a top 10 pick, which is very handy. You know what? We're actually going to manually do this fantasy draft. At least the first five picks, all right? I'll show you guys the first five, and then I'll just sim the rest. So for the first pick, I am going to probably take Ja Morant. He's got two years. He's on a cheap deal that will help us in free agency. Yeah, I'm taking Ja Morant, boys. It's pretty simple there. Next pick, our second pick is going to be RJ Barrett. I think you guys will see a current theme going on with, with most of our picks here. Cole Anthony, our third pick. Mo Bamba is going to be our fourth pick, that's for sure. And for our fifth pick, I suppose we should probably take someone on a big contract. Yeah, such as Kevin Love, that'll work. And we'll sim the rest of this draft. I should really let you guys know the plan that I'm going for. We're going to try and be bad this first season and hopefully develop young guys and get good draft picks for next draft. Hopefully like four or five good top 14 lottery picks. If we can get four or five picks like that, that'd be awesome. That way we can just build around that and then in free agency, we can bring in superstars, have a very good team. That's the plan. Hopefully we can do it. We're going to have a season limit. It's going to be three. Hopefully we can do it in three. If we're very close, we might run a fourth. Not sure. Who knows? But we still ended up with Gary Trent Jr. I was very tempted did to take Gary Trent over Mo Bamba, but I didn't. All I know is I did take Cole Anthony and Mo Bamba so I can get good picks. So hopefully this can work out for us. So what we're going to try and do is get some first round picks. What I am actually going to do first though, I'm going to sim till the end of November. So December 1st, and then we'll see who's doing good and who's doing bad. And we can then make trades then. At this point in the season, the Blazers, Suns, Wizards, Bucks, and Hornets. Those are the picks that we should be going after here. So we're going to ha have a go and try and get that. Well, I mean, we'll try and get this Wizards pick first, I suppose. Would that trade go, go through? No, we're going to have to give up something in return, aren't we? Because we're trying to be bad as well. So we want to hold on to our first first round pick as much as possible. We got that Wizards first, which is going to come in kind of handy. We might have overpaid for it a little bit, but hopefully it does come in kind of handy. So Cole Anthony, let's chuck in Nick Alexander Walker. Maybe we can get ourselves a decent first round pick in return. We can get that Hawks first round pick, which might come in handy, plus Kyra Lewis Jr. We can get that Bucks first. If worst comes to worst, we can just trade them away at the trade deadline and hope for the best. If we can pick up, say, Portland's first round pick now, I'd say that's successful for us. Sadly, it is lottery protected and we're going to give it to the Bulls. That's not fun. I'm just curious to see what does come up for Terrence Ross and Josh Richardson. I'm not planning on making too, too many trades right now. I'm just curious to see if something young and talented can get offered up for these guys. No. If we chucked in a second round pick, maybe. Currently do have first four 2022 first round picks. Maybe something could come up here. I mean, I see Matisse and Daniel Gafford. We've definitely had worse options, let's say that. Boucher with Derek Jones Jr. Again, we'll have a look. No harm in looking around, right? Nah, nothing really coming up up here. So, you know what? Well, I'm fine with how this team is right now. I am going to give Ja Morant less. Actually, we'll give Ja Morant a lot more minutes. RJ can get less. I wanted to trade Kevin Love before he does regress, didn't I? I am going to move Kevin Love down to the bench, though. In case you guys didn't notice, this is very much a development year, which means we're going to be playing Ja Morant 37. Matisse is going to start at the 2 with RJ at the 3, Derek Jones at the 4, and Gafford at the 5 with Jalen Johnson, Chris Boucher, Isaiah Roby, Isaiah Thomas, and Kevin Love off the bench. Yeah, we're trying to lose games as well as develop young guys so that's what we're doing for this first season. I'm going to simulate the rest of the season and hopefully these picks can do something. I might have a look at some more picks at the trade deadline. I'm not sure. All right, so we are at the trade deadline. We currently have that Bucks pick. That Hawks pick is on the fence. Same with that Wizards pick. Um, that Blazers pick, I'm glad we didn't trade for that. That's been moved up. Which pick did we trade for that like became decent? I think it was the... Paces? Might have been that Paces pick. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, no. We only have the Wizards, Hawks, Bucks, and ours. And we're currently fourth in the conference somehow. Don't ask us how we're doing that, all right? But we are. We're going to have to give up quite a bit. We are going to trade for... We're going to trade for this Nuggets first round pick, I think. Yeah, that Nuggets first round pick might come in quite handy. They do currently have it. It's four stars. Like I said, I am very willing to give up quite a lot for it. 
I'm gonna have to give up like RJ Barrett for it, aren't I? Not worth it. Um, these two are gonna be the face faces of my franchise, so there's no point getting rid of RJ or Ja Morant. Kevin Love and we'll say Derek Jones Jr. Maybe something can get offered to us that we can use, but that 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 doesn't seem to be right. We can trade for DeAndre Hunter. I suppose that could work for us. Yeah, that works. We also get Sergi Barker, which if we pair with Derek Jones Jr., we can get ourselves nothing. Literally nothing. All right, let's just go Sergi Barker by himself. What can you get us? First round pick and Joe Harris. You know what? I will take a first round pick and Joe Harris. And then Derek Jones Jr. Get a first round pick for you as well. Indeed, we can get one from the Lakers or the Mavericks. I'm going to take this Lakers deal because Gary Harris is on an expiring deal. His cap will come off next season. Can we maybe get another first round pick for Gary Harris? If so, then I will trade him again. But if not, no, we don't. What about Joe Harris? No. No first round pick for Joe Harris. That's fine. Uh, Chris Boucher, maybe a first round pick. Still, oh, there we go. Keen Birch from the Clippers. We also have to give up Gorgie Dang. I don't mind. Cool. So we've got a, quite a few first round picks going on here. I will run this team. I don't know. Well, how many first round picks do we currently have? We currently have four 2022 firsts, a swap in 2023, a 2024 top three protected, a 2020. Five and a 2026. All right, we've got picks we can use next season or before the start of next season. We'll see what happens. We'll simulate it. Hopefully, we can get lucky. Giannis, my brother, my MVP. All right, you know what? I don't mind. We will. Ja Morant wins most improved, averaging 35 and 8. So that's what happens when you give him a fucking franchise. Love that. Uh, we somehow finish as a six seed. So we're in the playoffs. Our first round pick's gonna be pretty shit. 44 and 38, that's dope. What I am more curious about in this whole season is about where did our other picks end up? So whose picks did we have? Let's double check that first. I do not remember and I cannot check. I know we had the Bucks, Hawks, Wizards, and ours. That's okay, that's that's what we had. Hawks, Bucks, Wizards. The top team that they didn't make playoffs, that's good. So we got one lottery pick, two lottery picks, three lottery picks. And we currently, we have the worst odds as well. So we have pretty projected first and second picks that's gonna be great and then maybe even like seven that's dope plus ours which is gonna be yeah it's gonna be outside the lottery but that's fine we got three lottery picks this year perfect Timberwolves they win the championship with Lamelo winning finals MVP 33 and 10 those are good stats you know shame I don't give a shit so lottery this is what it's all about how many picks we got we got one two three lottery picks Watch us not be in the top three. We get the first and third pick. And the fifth pick, that that Atlanta pick moved up to three. Holy shit. Plus our picks at 17, which is going to be very, very handy. Awesome. That's actually sick, man. So we got one, three, and five. Let's have a look then. Let's see what we can draft. Um, a center, a shooting guard, and a power forward. That's what we should probably take. So... A center in Chet Holmgren. I think that's pretty simple that we're taking there. We are actually just going to watch to see who they take. They do they take Paolo, which sucks. You know what? I think maybe we could even trade this pick and get Paolo as well. Yeah, we might actually be able to, you know. If we go this third overall pick, chuck in Daniel Gafford. Could we get... Paolo. Yeah, we can get Paolo from the Blazers. Perfect. That's what we like to see. So we've got a center powerful. We need a shooting guard in this draft. So we do need a shooting guard. Jaden Hardy might be the way to go. Yeah, I think that's what we need. So I might just take Jaden Hardy. Either Pat him or Patrick Baldwin Jr. I'll take Jaden Hardy. Jaden Hardy will be fine. So in this year's draft, we pick up Jet Holmgren, Paolo Banchero, Jaden Hardy, and Osma uh, Osman Diang. I don't know, but sure, that works for me. Isaiah Roby, sure, can come back as well. And qualifying offers we have none. So hopefully we can be a very good performing team. I'm not going to lie to you. We had negative 35 million. That's fine. I don't really want to sign anyone anyway. We're actually good for all positions this year. So we're not even going to do anything. I'm not even going to bother signing anyone this year. Just going to focus on progression and head for it for that third season. Which DeAndre Hunter's doing okay. That's fantastic. We need to try and save as much money as we can for next offseason, which we're going to do because I think we're going to have to pay RJ and Jar next year. So... That's fine. Same with DeAndre Hunter. We're also going to have to pay him next year. We might trade DeAndre. I'm not sure. Right. Rotation, as you guys know, is a Morant, Hardy, Barrett, Paolo, and Chet Holmgren starting five. Yes, we're going to try and develop those guys more. Hunter, Roby, Birch, and Johnson off the bench. Morant and Barrett are going to be our two scoring options. And for this season, we will be running a perimeter-centric system. We'll run it. Hopefully something works for us. So, sim the season. Hopefully we can make playoffs again. Not massive hopes again. 
Uh, what type of picks have we got? We've only got that one pick and it's a swap worse with Clippers. So, who knows? We'll simulate the season. We'll see what's up. At the All-Star break, John Morant, our one and only All-Star. Fair enough. Third in the conference. Don't ask us how. We just, we just don't. Jokic, mate. Oh my god. You see that stat line? That's ridiculous. 34, 17, and 9. Far out. Chao Holmgren, Rookie of the Year. Perfect. And we don't win any other awards. Ja, All-NBA second team, which is what we like to see. Uh, but we do actually finish as a two seed with a 48 and 34 record. We were nine games behind the Timberwolves, so we were very much outclassed by the Timberwolves, which is something you don't get to say very often. Also, why is Keem Birch starting over Chow Holmgren? What the fuck is that, 2K? So again, I don't care about these playoffs at the moment. I really don't. Uh, if we do end up going and doing something decent, that'd be sick. But no, we lose in the second round. That's fine. Our team's extremely young. The Timberwolves go back to back. Lamelo wins another Finals MVP. Now is the time where it gets serious. I'm not sure what free agents are around. I will free up some cap space for them, uh, but I'm not sure what's about though. We need to free up as much cap space as we can right now. So uh, because we do need to, we've got to sign a couple of people. So Joe Harris, one year deal, 19 million. Uh, you're costing me a lot of money, fam and I will trade you for some picks from Denver. Perfect. Um, anything else that we can get rid of? Uh, yes, Grayson Allen's contract. Can we get that off our hands as well? Thank you for two first round picks by the Grizzlies. Thanks, Memphis. Keem Birch, your $7 million contract's got to go for a first. Two firsts again from the Thunder. Gee whiz, we're rolling in the first round pick. Uh, you, Usman Diang, you are making too much money for my liking, and we can get rid of you for a three-star first round pick from the Thunder. Beautiful. And, and I'm also not going to use Jane Springer. Fair. So, what we got to do, we do have to re-sign Ja Morant and RJ Barrett first off, because those guys are our boys. So, RJ Barrett and Ja Morant, we got to re-sign those guys. Hopefully... They come back for a little bit less money. That would be great. We get them both. Isaiah Roby, I don't really mind too much. DeAndre Hunter, we have to renounce rights on if we're going to sign anyone. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we do get RJ on a cheaper deal, which is going to come in handy. But there is no good free agents left. There's Chris Stapps, Pazingas, but do we take Chris Stapps? I think we might take Chris Stapps, boys. Because if we take Chris Stapps, it's better than nothing. Either that or we take Tyler Hero. Either way, we get Tyler Hero. Okay, yeah, we'll take Tyler. Chris Stapps went to the Nets. That's fine by me. What can we afford now, though? Bojan Bogdanovic. Spencer Dinwiddie. I mean, sure, we can use Spencer Dinwiddie. I don't mind Spence. Now we have Tyler Hero, by the way. Spencer Dinwiddie and Tyler Hero. What can these two get us? Nothing. Literally nothing. I love that. Hero with Jaden Hardy. Jaden's actually uh, only got three-star value, so that's fun. So we got a roster that we can kind of use. We'll go to player progression. I won't trade until the start of the season. Maybe something can come up. Uh, yeah, Tyler Hero is now an 87 overall. We got plenty of young guys that we can definitely use. We got a lot of first-round picks now that we can use as well, so... Hopefully, we can sort something out. We can trade Tyler Hero and Dinwiddie for Cole Anthony and Carl Anthony Towns. If we do that right, we pick up Cat, and then if we move Cat with Chet Holmgren, could maybe nothing come up? That's awesome. What if we chuck in this Rockets 2024 first? Anything crazy? The trade finder? No, we're going to have to make our own trade. Love that shit. Will this trade go through for DeAndre Ayton? No, we're going to have to give up another first, and still then, still a no. Love that shit. Otto Porter, mate, your contract is going to come in really handy in a second. So we're definitely going to take you with KCP. Again, flip them for maybe someone making 11 mil or something like that. 12 mil by Derek Rose or Daniel Gafford. That works for me. Beautiful. Gafford with Cole Anthony. Cole, mate, could you get us? Could you help us get us make uh, get get us some more money? Like Clint Capella. Beautiful. He's making a bit of money. Capella with... Chad Holmgren and a first round pick from the Rockets to get us Bradley Beal, which, is gives, which gives us a starting shooting guard. I'll take Sadiq Bay and Bradley Beal. And then with Sadiq Bay and Jaden Hardy, could we get ourselves a backup player, such as Desmond Bain? That seems to be ideal. If we chuck it, actually, we've got all these picks. Let's use these picks, shall we? If we do this, could we get someone better? Hell no. Okay, nice. What if we chucked in, say, this pick instead? Still a no. So we're going to take Desmond Payne uh, with this trade over here. We're going to take Desmond Payne. He can be our backup uh, two. And now we've got a one, five, two, and a three. We now need a starting four. So if we go Paolo with New Orleans Noel, yes, Paolo's good. But we're trying to get Scotty Barnes could be our new starting power forward. And I'm not going to lie, we don't get Scotty Barnes that often. So, Scotty, mate. You want to come to the team, my brother. You want to come to the team. We also get Jacob Pertle. Uh, and uh, what do we have here in the way of salary? Not a lot. Uh, Trey Burke, could you, like, 
help us get some more money from like Caleb Martin for some reason getting paid $12 million. Don't ask me why. Bryn Forbes and a first round pick with Caleb Martin. What type of salary gets offered up? Anything over 15 is a W like John Drake Drummond's $15 million contract. That's a huge dub. Uh, with Preston chucking another first round pick. What else salary wise can we take and get? John Isaac, Mo Bamba, John Isaac and Ben McLemore might be the move. Yeah, all right, we'll take John Isaac and Ben McLemore, which means we have Morant, Bill, Barrett, Barnes, and Towns starting five with Bain and Isaac off the bench. Do we want to start RJ or do we want to trade him? I don't know if we can trade RJ, I'm not going to lie. He is our cheap. He is our cheapy in our starting five. I'm just saying, we could get Jared Allen, who's making less money. Probably won't average as much, but he is an eye higher overall. Or we could take Devin Booker as our starting shooting guard or Zach Levine, plus we also get Precious. But we have to find a better starting center, which I think we can do. If we take Devin Booker... He he can be our starting shooting guard, which means if we traded Bradley Beal with Otto Porter, could we get ourselves a, like, Bear Muddy Bio as our starting center? Right, and now we have a little bit more cap to play with off for this bench, right? Because we've got RJ, Scotty, both make... Actually, I think this, this, is, this starting five has cost us more, but we've got Jaden McDaniels, Maxi Kleber, a first-round pick that we can use. So for Alper and Sengun, I don't mind Sengun. Oh. Jared Vanderbilt. So we currently got Isaac, Vanderbilt, and Bain off the bench. We don't need Vanderbilt because we have Isaac, so we can keep Vanderbilt, who does the same thing as Isaac. He can play defense, but Isaac is more of an all-round player. All right, fair, fair, fair. Bembry with DeAndre Jordan. I'm not sure if these two can get us much, but I am going to look in the way of money. Best I can do is 2.5 mil from Willie Hernan Gomez, which is better than 1.7 mil or whatever it is. Take Max Strauss, who's almost on a 10 mil deal. Beautiful, that works for me. Strauss, Wannabe, and a first. Get us Tyrese Maxey and Cody Zeller. Beautiful, Tyrese can be our backup point guard. So we have a one, two, four. Definitely need a five. Definitely need a five. That's definitely what we need, a five. Uh, Cody Zeller is not going to be our backup center. 100% not going to be our backup center, I can tell you that right now. But we do need to fight. Davion Mitchell's making a lot of money. That is a lot of money we just took on, which is beautiful. Yes, chuck in a first round pick. Oh, that's protected. Okay, chuck in a first round pick. Please help us out here, 2K. Come on. We can go 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can get about 9 mil. Yeah, you know what? We'll take this Nuggets deal. That guy's making 8 mil. 12 mil for Caleb Martin again. That's that, we might find Caleb Martin is going to be our MVP this year. Jesus. 15 mil by Drummond. He could actually, honestly, be our backup center. But uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to get greedy here because of all these first round picks. Actually, we only have three left. But we're going to keep trading up and hope that we get ourselves like a freaking good backup center like Clint Capella. That's exactly who I was looking for. So I don't know if this is an 82-0 worthy roster, but we've got a Moran Booker, Bar Barrett Barnes, and uh, Adebayo starting five with Capella, Bain, Maxi, Isaac off the bench. Look, I'm not sure if it's going to run it. Sometimes it's the ones that you don't think are going to work that do work. So who knows? We've got a four and a half star system. Do we have a five star? No, we'll run it. We'll see what happens. Fuck! We lose the first game of the season. Heck yeah, love that. Lamelo, Hey buddy, after winning two finals MVP, you win a season, a regular season MVP. That's sick, but like, um... We finished second in the conference, so we definitely didn't go 82 and 0. We... Oh my god, we suck. We actually suck. I... By we, I mean me. I actually suck. This is probably one of my worst performances of this challenge. Could we maybe win the playoffs? Probably not, right? Yeah. Like I said, probably not, right? We lost. Do you reckon it would have been better if we went Lamello for the first one? Maybe. Maybe it would have been better if we did go Lamello. Maybe that could have worked out for us. Although we did have a 97 overall Jar Morant. Guys, if you've gone 82 and 0 before, let me know. I'll, I want to know how to do it. <laughs> I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you uh, enjoyed, like the video. Subscribe if you're new. That'll be sick as well. Yeah, and let me know down in the comments how you guys go 82 and 0 without cheating. I would like to know. That'll be sick. Uh, yeah, but that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, if you want to watch another one, you can click on one of these videos. That'll be sick. I'm pretty sure one's a subscribe, but like, just click on the video. That'll be absolutely awesome helps me yeah uh, helps me help you if that makes sense click on those i'll try and be back i'll try and post more this week so hopefully you would like to stay tuned make sure those notifications are turned on and i catch you in the next video see ya